Hey guys, it's Ben now. We're starting a new LP. It's gonna be a game by game freak, but if you pretty much played this game, you already know what it is. And if you look for the title, you already know what it is. But it's Pokemon Blue. There's no surprise anymore. No one does any question mark titles for a while, so. Pokemon Blue. This was not the first game I've ever played, but it was one of the first. Because my first game system was a um, Game Boy Color, and I got Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for that. But I also had gotten Pokemon Blue, or more so I played Red, uh, and my sister had Blue. And generally, I'm going to start the game up, because pretty much everyone knows Pokemon. Um, but I think this was like one of the best games that someone could play for the first time, you know? And I think that if you're, if you're going to try and play Pokemon for the first time, stick to some of the newer ones. The older ones, especially this game, this is why I'm playing the original. It's, it's flimsy, there's a lot of problems with the actual game. Um, Gold solved a lot of these problems, thankfully, but, yeah, so I'm being that. And, even though I'm playing Pokemon Blue, and this, and I'm supposed to be Blue, I'm actually gonna call him Blue, my rival, because, canonically, everyone calls him Blue, so you may as well call him Blue. Or if you really want, you could call it, like, a direct name, but I'm just gonna stick with Blue, because I'm a bit boring like that. World of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. And we start the game off right here. Uh, so we're in our room in Pallet Town. The first thing you, sh you can do is play with your SNES. Because every other game, it's not a SNES. Uh, you can also head over to your computer and you can withdraw a potion. This is a nice item to have. Uh, just a bit of a heads up. Uh, if you're playing... Uh, if you're playing uh, Diamond and Pearl, I, I know it's not the same game, but in Generation 4 onwards, your inventory has unlimited space. All boys leave home. It said so on the TV, because TV is the best influence. <laughs> okay, well, he's next door. <laughs> so yeah, Ow, hello. When they get strong, they can protect you from what? Okay, sure. Um, over here we have Blue's house. Uh, this is our rival man. He's out at Grandpa's lab. Yeah, he's also the grandson of Professor Oak. Uh, you can also see a map. For some other reason, that was a map. But you couldn't see that. This is this is the town map, or more so the world map. Uh, you can see basically every feature on the map, and you can. We're basically on our pathway. We're gonna head in this direction. This is actually the order in which you can play the game. Like, usually you would play the game in that order. And Power Plant is last, of course. Um, so yeah. Uh, other than that, there's Professor Oak's lab, but he's not there, so... Oh! Don't go out! It's unsafe, wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your own protection. I know. Here, come with me, me own. Yes. And he will lead us to his lab. Um, if you enter his lab, you'll be like, oh, he's not here, even though he's probably in the town somewhere. Grimps, I'm fed up with waiting. Let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. <laughs> Can't even remember his own grandson. You couldn't even remember his name a bit before. Anyway, there are three Pokemon here. Uh, I'm gonna try and play this game in the most informative manner as possible. You know, kinda your good old Chugga Conroy method, but I'm actually gonna go a little bit more in depth. And because it's the first generation, not many people care. <laughs> I mean, granted, there's a lot of mechanics that have changed over the course of Pokemon. <laughs> Don't go away yet. Okay, so we got three Pokemon here. The first one here is Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. Obviously prefers hot places when it rains, steam is set to spout from the tip of its tail. Charmander is pretty fast, um, which means that he'll attack first in battle, which is nice. And the best part is that Fire-type does have a lot of type advantages. However, um, 
The problem with fire types in this game is that there's not a lot of moves. I think there's only five fire type moves out of 165 in, in this game. And none of them really take advantage of his attack stat, which is a bit of a problem. Also, the beginning of the game is going to be very difficult for this guy. Uh, we've got Squirtle, which is Tiny Turtle. Uh, Squirtle is actually a pretty good uh, Pokemon, I would say. Um, he's got some pretty good defense, his moveset's really good. All the water types have really good movesets in this game. Uh, He's a little bit vulnerable against early gyms because one of them is water type and one of, one of them is electric type, and then there's a grass type one. It's a little bit annoying, uh, but it like I'd say Squirtle's a good choice. Uh, however, I'm gonna choose Bulbasaur, which uh, Bulbasaur I think has the best move set. His special set is good, which complements his attacks, and also he fully evolves first, which is really good because. Um, yeah, I'll choose Bulbasaur, um, which is really good if he fully evolves first, because then, then you can get your stats really good. Um, now we're going to call them names. Uh, I'm going to call mine Bubba. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only problem with uh, Bulbasaur is that uh, there's quite a lot of psychic types in this game, and it's it'll be a little bit difficult when you get after the Psychic Gym. However, the, there's plenty of time to get some good Pokemon before that as well to counteract it. Anyway, so your rival will always choose the one that's super effective. We've got a bit of a Scissors Paper Rock scenario going on here with the types. Um, I'll explain this more as we go along. But basically, Grass is strong against Water, which is strong against Fire, which is strong against Grass. And he will always... Your rival will always choose the one that's strong against you, which is a bit annoying. Uh, thankfully, or well, unfortunately, he also tries to battle you right now. However, the good news is that there's not really any risk. Um, all, all of these Pokemon are level 5, by the way, at the beginning of the game, and they all have these moves. The Charmander will come out with Tackle and Tail Whip. Tackle is a pretty decent attack, and Tail Whip reduces your defense. Uh, Bulbasaur will have Tackle and Growl, which lowers your opponent's attack. And uh, Bulbasaur will, uh, sorry, and Squirtle will also have, um, so, sorry, um, gosh, I, I'm getting confused. Uh, Charmander has Scratch and Growl, uh, the Bulbasaur has Tackle and Growl, and the Squirtle has Tackle and Tail Whip, which reduces your defense. So, Scratch is a decent attack as well, I think he's a little bit stronger, so I recommend, and also he's faster, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, I'm going to try and use Growl on him, so that he is a bit weaker. As you can see, the effects are kind of kicking in, but I don't want to... This, this early battle is a little bit difficult. Uh, so yeah, so I've reduced his attack a little bit. He's just going to keep using Scratch. Uh, as you can see, you'll basically use attacks until your opponent runs out of health. Uh, oh, snap, he's using Growl. That's, that's not good. Because uh, now I'm not going to attack as strong. Um, ooh. I think I've got this, because I've used it twice, and I think I'm doing about 3 damage a turn. Um... Of course- oh, a critical hit. Uh, critical hit basically doubles your damage for that single attack. Um, they come randomly, but there are some attacks that I believe increase the rate. I'm not sure if it's this generation though, or later generations. Uh, if you- if you stick to your special- to your non-damage- of course, 69 experience points. If you stick to your non-damage attack for the first few turns, you'll be pretty set for this battle, but it's a little bit difficult if you don't really know how to play the game. You'll be like, oh, this attack hurts him, this one doesn't. I'll use the one that hurts him, of course. I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Smell you later. Anyway, so the only purpose of this battle really is to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to play the game. You know, it puts you in a scenario, there's not really any other options you can do, you can just learn how important a uh, fancy, uh, a non-damage attack, as I call it, an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so, technology is incredible, you can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. So yeah, you can put your items in the PC, and same with your Pokemon, there's only, if we hit start, uh, we can firstly see our Pokemon list. There are spots for six Pokemon. Um, 
you can only hold six. However, you can put quite a lot in the computer. I, I'm not quite sure how many is a lot, but I, I know there's a limit at some point, but eh. Uh, you can also see here his stats, your Pokemon stats. Uh, you got attack, which is basically your physical damage. Your defense, which is your physical defense. Your speed, which kind of determines how f how early in the battle you attack, or more so how who will attack first. And special, which is actually a different type. Uh, special is a little bit messed up in this game. Uh, like some attacks will use special, some won't, and then they'll attack the special anyway. Uh, Bulbasaur is really good because a lot of his attacks will use the special stat. Uh, you can also see his types: grass and poison. There's a lot of type combinations in this game, um, and basically moves us, attacks have types. So, so for example, both Tackle and Growl are normal type. Normal type is not super effective against anything, however it is weak against Rock, and I think it's, uh, it will not hit Ghost type. Uh, also, um, I guess we'll head into the first route. Uh, also, um, if your type is normal, and you use a normal type attack, your attack is one and a half times stronger. Uh, so if you've got the same type attack, which is the same type attack bonus, then yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and fight this Rattata. Uh, we are in Route 1 right now, I haven't been mentioning stuff, but... Basically, yeah. Uh, so this is Route 1, uh, we've got... Uh, a couple of Pokemon. Uh, there's a 45% chance of finding Rattata. Rattata has a pretty high speed, and he learns this really good move called Hyper Fang at level 14. However, his base stats, which is basically the standard amount of stats that a Pokemon has, they're a little bit low. Oh gosh, I'm level 7. Uh, there's 100 levels in the game, by the way. Oh, I got Leech Seed. Leech Seed is a pretty nice move. It's a grass type move that allows you to suck the HP off an opponent, and that's a passive ability. So if you use it for the next like five turns, it will suck health, which is really nice. If you talk to this guy, this guy feels like giving out samples, so it gives you another potion. I didn't explain, a potion recovers your, gives you 20 HP. So if you're having trouble in that previous battle, I always recommend just grabbing the potion straight up, because you can use that potion in the battle. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, the other Pokemon you can find in this route is Pidgey. Uh, Pidgey has pretty high attack and speed, but initially his base stats are a little bit low and also level 2. You'll never find a level 1 Pokemon in this game, because they use a formula to work out the experience points, and uh, it doesn't work with level 1. Uh, to work out the experience points needed for each level. It doesn't work out for the first level. Um, I'll talk about experience points a little bit later as well. Um, Pidgey, however, he doesn't really have a good moveset as you're leveling up, so you're going to need to use TMs. Um, I'll get into TMs a bit later. By the way, yeah, you can, you can jump down these ledges. If you see ledges like this, if you're coming in from the north, you can jump down them, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, now hopefully we won't get one more wild. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, so yeah, um... So, we got Leech Seed through leveling up, and you can get, uh, moves like that just by leveling up. Uh... Which is what you're gonna be doing for most of your moveset. However, there are some kinds of... Okay. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch out for its poison sing. Okay. Uh, but TMs are basically moves that you can use on a Pokemon, and it'll teach them the moves. Uh, most of them are one-time use, except for the HM moves. HM moves are vital to the, to the storyline. Uh, we're gonna need to head into the Mart. Yeah, I came from Palatown. What? What, what of it? Yeah, I know him. Okay. So we got Oak's Parcel. Um, yeah. Pretty much. No, potions are all sold out. Oh, really? This guy won't actually sell you anything right now, but the Pokemon is where you buy items. Also, Antidotes. Antidotes uh, heal your Pokemon of poison. There are several status elements. Poison is one of them, and it's probably the most annoying one as well. Also, you can't progress up because this guy is... his private property. And for some odd reason, the guy lying down t tells you that. Don't be so mean, he hasn't had his coffee yet. 
Okay. Um, one thing I like about this game is that it was for the Game Boy Color, so unfortunately most things are only really like one color, but the color of the game actually changes. Like the color of all the scenery changes depending on where you are, and that's what they name the cities after. If you head up here, you'll see like a little bush. You want to use that, because you'll find a potion. Um, I will be trying to point out as many hidden items as possible. There's a later item in the game called an item finder, but you need to have caught a lot of Pokemon in order to actually collect it. And also, it's, it's kind of late game. A lot of the really good items are stuff you just find around. So yeah, I like the first route in uh, Pokemon Gold because you can completely ignore all the grass. For this one, you have to at least experience the grass right, right in the channel. So yeah, still haven't found a Pidgey yet, wow. Uh, I recommend fighting a lot of these early Pokemon because you will need the experience. Uh, the first gym comes kind of quickly, however, there are quite a lot of... Um, there's still quite a few opportunities to level up, and also, we're going to be kind of catching a few other Pokemon. Which we'll get into next next part as well. So as you can see, yeah, the, the pallet changed. Because we're in pallet town. And if we head up to uh, Mr. Oak. Oak's like, oh, hi Beard now. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Uh, by the way, with the starting three, you cannot get those Pokemon anywhere else in the game. So this is a vital decision that you have to make. Um, Gramps! What you call me for? Oh, it's a request. On the desk there is his invention, Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Take these with you. And then he gives you the Pokédex. Magically from that table without going over there. Uh, so anyway, so the point of the game is to catch them all, I guess? I prefer the later games where there's a bit more competitive Play. In this game, it's more like catch them all. Uh, I think there are about 10 Pokemon in each version of the game, uh, red and blue, that you cannot catch. You have to get them from the other version. So I will be noting when there's a Pokemon that's exclusive to a certain version of the game. Uh, other than that, uh, I guess we'll end the part off here. I, I'll see you kids next time when we'll continue on with Pokemon Blue. See you kids then.